Hello and welcome back to some more Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. Or last episode, we went to Iceland to talk to the doctor in here, and then we went to I and then went to call to solve some puzzles in a jungle temple. And now we are we have returned to Iceland because there is something which we need to collect here before we go to the Azores. So let's head on down over here, and we have discovered we discover. Too bad, he's frozen solid. A little too dedicated to his work, I guess. But what we want to do is we want to use this bead on this eel head right here. It fits perfectly. Whoa! Look, it melted itself right out of the ice. Now we want to pick up the eel figurine. And that's all we need out of Iceland, so we're going to leave Dr. Heimdall here to his own unfortunate fate. Head on out and then go over and use the truck, as we did in the previous episode. Let's head for the airport. And now we can fly to the Azores. This is his house? This is it. So the first things first, we want to try to use the- it's not going to be very successful, we do want to try to open the door. I don't think that'll work. Mr. Costa? Pipe down, I'm coming! Be firm, but polite. I suppose you're selling something. If it's not a priceless artifact, I don't want it. It doesn't really matter what you say here, he's going to slam the door in your face no matter what. I hear you know something about Plato's lost dialogue. Maybe so, maybe no, who are you? I'm Indiana Jones. I'm Costa, and I'm tired of talking to you. Indiana, what kind of stupid name is that? Nice going, Indy. I could have done better. Yeah, sure. I'd say she probably could do better. And that's the very, very that's the very reason why we're going to talk to her and tell her Excuse to me. talk to Costa instead. Yes? Here, you talk to the man. My pleasure. So now, as Sophia, we're going to walk to the door. Listen. No, that's the I guess. I said go to the door. Get it. Fine, it's forgotten. The door. Thank you. Mr. Costa! Keep your shirt on. He's a touchy old bird. Watch and learn, Dr. Jones. Well, hello, beautiful. So to a certain point it doesn't really matter what you say here. Professor Costa, my name is Sophia Hapgood. Madam Sophia? A renowned psychic? I hope my friend didn't pester you too much. He's a friend of yours? Well, no, he didn't pester me that much. We need some help from you. Happy to oblige. When you get to this point, you want to ask him about Plato's Lost Dialogue. What can you tell us about Plato's Lost Dialogue? What do you want to know? Can you get it for me? Nope. Do you know what's in it? Nope. Do you have it? Not exactly. Have you read it? Sorry. Do you know where we could find it? Well now, that depends. I might trade the information for a rare Atlantean artifact, such as a certain necklace I've heard about. I'll never trade away my necklace. 
Well then, if that's how you feel, surprise me. When you get to this point, you want to ask if he would do business with my friend here. Would you do business with my friend here? Madam, I'll do business with anyone. Thanks for your help. Goodbye for now. At your command, madam. Don't be a stranger now. He's a sweet old guy. Trade, huh? Now that we've done that, we want to go over and talk to Indy. Excuse me? Yes? And tell him to take over. I think you better take over. Okay, I'll give it a try. Let's go knock on the door one more time, and this time we'll actually have a successful trade going. Mr. Costa? You again? What do you want? Let's talk about a trade. Let's talk about a trade. Okay, what you got? We have the mysterious eel figurine. I'm offering this mysterious eel figurine. Now that looks interesting. You've got a deal, mister. Now listen carefully, I don't know exactly where to find it, but... The Lost Dialogue of Plato is in the Ward Collection, got that? I think so. The Ward Collection. Very good, nice doing business with you. The Ward Collection? You know something, Sophia? I believe Barnett College owns the Ward Collection. Dr. Uberman, fantastic news. Corona, at last! See what Herr Jones has kindly provided? What on earth? Isn't it amazing? You fool! You come back to show me this, this, this... prehistoric knickknack? Herr uh, Doctor, I believe this knickknack, as you call it, comes from the lost city. Then we have failed! I see no evidence here of some magical metal plate called Orichalcum! Look here, concealed in the base is this small shiny bead. And it glitters like fire, exactly as Plato described. It's my guess we found the treasure we seek. I never guess. We must test. My God. of uranium without any radioactivity! And those smart American scientists know nothing! That gives me an idea! All I place the bead inside the statue's open mouth. <laughs> you saw that? Think of trucks powered by these beads. Think of tanks. Think of airplanes. Use your imagination, Carla. Think big like the American. Think of So why are you dragging me in here? Plato's lost dialogue should be here somewhere. Need some help? Yes, please, it's scary in here. Save the sarcasm, Jones. I'll meet you in your office. Okay, so here's the thing about finding Plato's lost dialogue. It spawns in one of four locations, and where it spawns is completely random. So, first thing we're going to want to do down here is we're going to pick up this dirty rag right here. I said pick the up. The greasy old towel. Pick up 
this dirty rag right here. While you're down here, you should also pick up a lump of coal from the coal stack. And now that we have that in our position, we are going to want to head upstairs. There's a list of items that we're going to want to collect because I have no way of knowing for sure which spot's going to spawn, so I want to have all the items so that we can just use them all. Uh, so that I don't have to... I don't, I don't have to keep switching between rooms to figure out where I need to go. I'm just going to get all the items first, then I'll start looking for the totem. The next place we have to go... I probably should have done this first, actually, is just go to Indy's office, which is across the street. I'm going to open this ice box right here. Guess I should have cleaned it out. And in it, you will find a jar of mayonnaise. I guess it's mayonnaise, but it looks like used motor oil. Now you want to head to the library, you want to head over to this school desk right here. It's an old lecture hall desk, complete with a wad of gum, I'll bet. Then you want to pick up the gum that he mentioned. If I can, there it is. It sure is gooey. Then while you're down here, you want to head over to the rope and use it to climb up to the room above. In this room up here, you want to pick up this tiny little arrowhead right here. Now there's one more thing that we need to collect, so what we want to do is we want to use the jar of mayonnaise on this totem pole right here. Then you want to pull the totem pole backwards twice, so that it is directly below the hole we fell through initially, and then use the totem pole to climb up to the room above. Now what you want to do is you want to open this urn right here. And start picking up ashes. I don't want to disturb it any more than necessary. Feels like there's something loose in here. A key? We've got everything we need, so now what we need is we need to use the dirty rag with the arrowhead together, and then we want to use this wrapped arrowhead on the bookcase. So there are five screws that we need to use. There we go. It's unscrewed. Gotta do this one at a time for all five screws. And now what we, we can do is we can open the back. There's nothing of importance here. And if Plato's Lost Dialogue spawns in this room, that is where it will be located. So that is location number one of four that it could spawn. Now what we want to do is we want to push this big crate out of the way. And then use the key on this chest right here. So for the next two locations, you want to head down here to the coal chute, and then you want to use the piece of gum we picked up as traction on the coal chute so that we can climb up to the room above. I think I'll stick this on my shoes for traction. What do you know? The gum works! Now they're up here. There are two possible locations. So third possible place that it could be would be in this hole right here. So this book right here, what you would do is you would use the piece of coal on the book to knock it out of the ceiling. Oops, a lump of coal broke into a billion useless pieces. The only place that the we haven't checked it, the Plato's Lost Dialogue could be, is in the cat figurine. So we want to keep walking to one of these until Indy says something like, hmm, that looks odd. Another cat idol. It looks odd. I believe it's part of the old Ward collection. There's something different about this one, so let's pick it up. Made out of wax. Made out of wax, huh? Well, in that case, let's head down to the furnace room. Open this up. Put this wax cat inside to melt it. The wax is melting. There's a manuscript inside. And lo and behold, we have discovered... The Lost Dialogue of Plato. So, very convoluted section. Both for record from a recording perspective and from uh, just a playing perspective. But it, it, it will spawn in one of those four locations, guaranteed it's just random which one spawns every time, so I recommend you get all the items first like I did, and then it will be in one of those four locations. Anyway, now that we've done that, we can walk over across the street to Indy's office. I got it! I found Plato's lost dialogue! Really? Our jungle friend Sternhardt is quite the scholar. Let me see. I don't see how this will help us find Atlantis. Isn't it obvious? No, it's much too vague. Our only hope is supernatural inspiration.
let's just figure out what those colonies were. We need the names. Other sources may identify them for us. I wonder. Where's my spirit guide when I need him? Come on, Sophia. The answer's in the book, not outer space. So he got his dates mixed up. Why is that so important? Plato's error means distances could also be wrong. So what if they are? If Plato is right, Atlantis is in the Mediterranean. You mean 300 miles from Greece instead of 3,000? Yes, the cradle of civilization. You could be right. He once told me he came from the middle of the world. That's what Mediterranean means. Good old Nurab Sal. I'm starting to like him. Wait, quiet. I think I'm getting something. So, Mr. Sal, what's the secret? Be patient, he's lost. But I think I know how to guide him home. Among the artifacts that Kerner stole was a small stone disc with a hole in it. I'm sure it was one of the three stones mentioned in Plato's book. And I didn't find it. I bought it from Omar al-Jabbar in Algiers. Why should he help us? Or was it a Cartier in Monte Carlo? Either way, Algiers or Monte Carlo. This much I do know. You'll need all three stones if you want to find Atlantis. All right, I'm ready to go. Not so fast. First, I'm going to tell your fortune. Look into my eyes. Deep into my eyes. For Pete's sake, I'm not going to hurt you. Now hold still. You are a remarkable man, Dr. Jones. You possess great strength of character. You are resourceful. But you're better with your fists than your head. I foresee combat and violence along your path to Atlantis, a path too dangerous for me. So, the reason why she says that, as you may be able to figure out, is because the last path that I recorded was the fists path. I did the team path first, reloaded my save, did wits path, reloaded my save. So the one that is currently in the game file is the fist path in which I beat the living crap out of that guy at the theater. Because of that, the game is recommending that we take the fist path. So now, allow me to finally explain to you what these three paths are, because this is the defining moment in the game in which you decide how the rest of this adventure plays out. So the first thing I'm going to recommend you do is save, because you cannot change this. And of course, as you may or may not know, I will be playing through all three paths throughout this walkthrough. So I'm going to do the team pass first, reload to the wits path, then reload to the fist path, and then we will reunite at the finale for the final sections of the game. But before we do that, let me explain what these are all about. So the team path in w is one in which you and Sophia go and you work together to solve puzzles. So basically it would be like what we did in Takal and the Azores. Um, the Wits path, it's basically just solo puzzle solving. So it would be kind of like the crate puzzle uh, outside the theater. And then Fist path, pretty self-explanatory. Just punch the guys until they fall down. That's basically all that is to it. So, we've saved, and w the first path we are going to take is the team path. I'd rather tackle this together with you. Are you absolutely sure? Yes. Yes, I am. Yes, I'm sure. We should team up. Okay, if that's how you feel, we'll go together. Let's get going. We can still catch tonight's clipper. You make it sound so romantic. And that's it for the introductory sections of Indiana Jones and the Fable Atlantis. You've chosen your path, and now you're ready for the main adventure. And we are going to pause right here. So, that'll be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hope to catch you all on Tuesday for some more Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. Goodbye.